What's up Nerfers, I'm Jay and today I have a review of the Nerf Sharpfire. So this is not an Elite Blaster. Nowhere on the box or on the blaster itself does it say the word Elite. So it's just End Strike, which is kind of odd. I don't know why they're doing that. I don't know what the thinking is behind it, but it's definitely kind of odd. Also, with the box that it came in, in my box, I ordered it off of Amazon and it had like five different languages on it, but nowhere on the box was there any sort of range. So I don't know what this thing is supposed to be stock, but it's definitely pretty powerful right out of the box, but I, I'm, I'm actually really, really enjoying this blaster. It's really kind of fun. Uh, it, it's basically, if you look closely, it's basically like an inline jolt, and I'm not a huge fan of jolt revamps, but this has me kind of intrigued because of how it operates. As you can see, it primes back like this, and that opens the breech. Then you take a dart, and you load it in like this, close it, and then fire. And it's actually pretty powerful. It comes with this detachable stock and this barrel extension here. And, you know, when everything's all together, it's kind of bulky. It kind of looks like a, a zapper for like a Wii or something. But what's really neat about this is that you can detach it with this button on the bottom and take off the barrel put the barrel aside for a second and flip this around and this turns into basically a holster. Will I use this? Probably not. It's really bulky and I'm not a big fan of it. Also, uh, the clip itself doesn't really want to stay on. The other cool thing though is that you can then store the barrel in the stock, which is really neat. And you can still fire like this. I mean, you can't really wrap your whole hand around it. But you can still pull the trigger without a problem. It comes with 10 Y-code darts, I believe. Let me check for a second. Yes, they are Y-code darts, uh, for those of you who care. But, I mean, this as a replacement for, like, a Fire Strike or a Night Finder, I would actually be really, really open to using this instead of one of those. I mean, like, it's it's got some power behind it for just stock, and it's got the same kind of plunger setup as a Magnus. There's a free-floating plunger head in there and just a spring behind it, and it's cool they even have vent holes up here so it doesn't suction load. So, yeah, I mean, this thing, what I love about this the most is that there's definitely, definitely huge mining potential for this. I can tell right now that there's going to be some definite, definite cool mods coming out for this, at least for me, I, I hope I have some cool things in the work for this because, I mean, it's just a neat little blaster and I can see, I, I'm probably going to brass this and put a massive spring in it and it's just going to shoot lasers and I'm really, really excited for this. But all in all, I mean, this was like 15 bucks on Amazon, 15 American dollars. And it's just really satisfying to prime. It's pretty fun to load. I mean, it's not the fastest reload, but I'm hoping to make it into kind of like a, a sniper pistol. I hate using the word sniper in Nerf because, I mean, there's only, you can only be so accurate with Nerf darts. But, I mean, this thing is going to shoot lasers, and I can guarantee that. So, yeah, I recommend this. It's really fun. I mean, you feel like Princess Leia with this, I mean, this whole thing out here like this. I've, it's just it's just ridiculously long for a one-shot pistol, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So I, I might, I'm debating whether or not I'll, like, extend the brass all the way to the end of this barrel, or if I'll just have it, you know, just be this, because this is nice and compact. You could holster this easily could like make a little holster for this no problem I don't know we'll see I'll play around with it but it'll be cool so yeah guys uh, sorry about the delay uh, in the blog posting if you haven't checked out my blog yet please check out my blog check it out don't forget to like me on Facebook if you haven't yet that's usually where I update all my blog posts and stuff like that so yeah thank you guys for watching and there'll be more stuff for you soon